Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to use our coordinate grid teaching tool. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games as well as fun games and teaching tools, and there's never any membership or sign up required to use these, and they're all free to play. Okay, let's take a look at the application, and you can see it here. This is the main menu. This is the second version that we've done of this. Um, teaching tool. The first version was Flash and it's still available on our website but it has limited playability due to the fact that you have to have Flash uh, installed to use it whereas this one will play on any device that has the, from a browser so mobile phones, uh, tablets, and PCs can all use this teaching tool. Okay let's take a look at it. When you first start this is the main menu you'll see. The video um, button here will take you to this video, the video page that has the video you're watching now, the instructions, we can take a look at it, but I'm not going to go over it because we'll be going over that actual application. Play will take you to the uh, little tool, teaching tool, and here you can choose if you want to play on four quad quadrants or one quadrant. And also you have three modes, show, quiz and random and I'll take a look at each one of those but you can see you just click to get to the different modes so it, let's take a look at the first mode which is show mode and you might use this to show a student how the coordinate grid how you come up with the ordered pairs and uh, let's go ahead and which all you do here really and it just demonstrates how a coordinate grid works and you just click on a any spot on the grid and it shows you how it comes up with the X and Y coordinate here, coordinate pair. And that's really all it is. It just demonstrates how that works. So it's pretty simple. Four quadrants going to work the same. Tells you the uh, ordered pair there. So let's go ahead and take a look at quiz mode and we'll go back to one quadrant. So if you were going to uh, show students how to use this or, or teach them or quiz on it. Well, we call it quiz mode. So if you wanted to quiz on this, you would pick a point on the grid and then ask the student to enter over here the coordinates of the red dot, where the red dot is. So it's 7, x is 7, and 7, and we can either enter it on the keyboard or touch device, go ahead and click 7, whoa, seven there, check, and a little check mark, and it tells me I've got the right location. Now if I come over here and uh, let's go ahead and enter the wrong um, coordinate pair, it's going to go ahead and say the, what the correct answer is. So that's kind of a neat little quick way to quiz on the coordinate grid. Now random mode, basically you could use this uh, to teach students or let the student play by himself, but uh, basically you're given a location to click on and if you click on that you'll get a check mark if you get once you get the check mark you'll get uh, another location and let's go ahead and choose the wrong one and it tells me that I uh, that just came up it tells me that uh, basically that I clicked on what point I actually clicked on so that's how you use the coordinate grid and if you want to uh, let me go ahead. I never just said that. if this will turn the music off and this will turn all sound effects off. So if you don't want any sound at all, you would turn that off. And if you just want uh, the sound effects, you would leave that like this, configured like this. And if you want to hear the music and sound effects, you'd leave it like that. Go back to the main menu like that. And um, that's how you use the uh, our coordinate grid teaching tool. I um, hope the video helps some and thanks for watching.